This problem just says, compute the integral of 4 over x times the square root of 1 minus the natural logarithm of x quantity squared dx. There's clearly a lot of prep work we're going to need to do here. This becomes the integral of 4, let's bring that x up, x to the minus 1, and the rest of it, 1 minus the natural logarithm of x quantity squared, can be made a negative 1 half power dx. So this is a nasty product. We should just try a substitution. The obvious candidate would be this, the largest thing in parentheses. So we're going to have 1 minus the quantity ln of x squared. If we differentiate that, the 1 doesn't contribute, the negative comes along for the ride. The derivative of blank squared is 2 times blank, times the derivative of blank. The blank is ln of x, the derivative of that is 1 over x. So if we clean that up here, that's negative 2 times x to the minus 1 times the natural logarithm of x is du dx. We can multiply both sides by dx and divide both sides by negative 2 to get negative 1 half du is equal to x to the minus 1 times the natural logarithm of x times dx. And this is the differential to fit. x to the minus 1 fits here. dx fits here. But there's no ln of x by itself. What do we conclude? This substitution doesn't fit. We're going to need to try something else. Now notice that there's something else in parentheses right here, this expression. So let's give it a shot. Let's try letting u be ln of x. The derivative is going to be 1 over x. And so if you multiply by dx, we're going to have du is equal to x to the minus 1 dx. And this time, this does fit. The x to the minus 1 is here, dx is here. And so we can make the substitution. These two terms are replaced with du. The ln of x is replaced by a u, so what we have here is the expression 1 minus u squared to the minus 1 half, and don't forget that there's that 4 right there. So this is our integral. Let me just again clean that up here. We have the integral of 4 times 1 minus u squared to the minus 1 half du. The 4 comes along for the ride, and the remaining part is simply the arc sine of u. Now if we back substitute, we're going to go and have 4 times the arc sine of u. The u that worked this time was ln of x, that's the orange u. And so there's one antiderivative, and now here's every antiderivative.